You was about to say the dookie, whatever that is. The duchy. <laughs> The Dutchie. The Dutchie. The Dutchie. Teach me how to Dutchie. Teach me how to Dutchie. Teach me how to Dutchie. And Dennis is and Dennis and um, your group Musical Youth. Um, how old were you guys when you guys made this song? Uh, the youngest was eleven. Damn. The oldest at fifteen. And what year was this? 1982. 1982. And it was like in the top, like the top 10 of every record chart all over the world. It made worldwide recognition, right? Yes. Yeah. Damn. You know I was doing that 11? I remember when I was being bad. I was well, grounded. This, I know, right? So this weekend coming up, well, not this I, weekend, but, but on the 15th, we're going to have Musical yeah. Youth performing alongside... Um, acts like Bone Thugs and Harmony, Cypress Hill, DJ Quick, Warren G, and the one and only Snoop Dogg for hey, the <laughs> for the Great American Doggy Smoke Dizzle. Out. Yeah. Yeah, and so you're gonna. So are you currently like in the UK right now? I am. Yes. Yes, and so we're so excited to see you. Um, can you let us know about the? your performance and a little bit about the history of Musical Youth? Yeah, well, Musical Youth started in 1979. Uh, Calvin was eight. Eight years old. Uh, Junior was, the drummer was uh, 13. Wow. So, and then we recorded, we used to tour around the UK uh, playing reggae songs. Then we got signed to a label, which is now Universal, and uh, we uh, recorded past the Dutchy. And how did they say the rest is history? <laughs> we recorded the in the summer of 1982. Well, it was sens- a sensation. It was everywhere. But the one thing, mm-hmm. like growing up, I know that my mom was like, um, "What are you singing?" <laughs> <laughs> I- <laughs> Look, did you have something to say? Oh, I'm just saying, I, I, this it's crazy he, he playing this right now because this was young, one of the songs I used to bang in my, you know, with my stereo system and <laughs> trunk rattling and everything. <laughs> so, like, when you made this song, was this something that was, was it written for, was it written by you guys or was it written for, for adults? Because I know it was like... <laughs> It wasn't one of those songs like kids would be singing. Yeah, no, no, no. It was uh, the the original song was called "Past the Kutchie," which is a kutchie pipe. Mm. But we couldn't be singing about kutchie. No, so we had to change the lyric to "Past the Dutchie," because obviously between eleven and fifteen, you can't be singing about. No. Passing a big old bottle. No. <laughs> so can't be singing about that. <laughs> uh, and because obviously some people knew it for the original, we had to change the lyrics. And then obviously when it went to America, you guys got it all confused, thinking we were singing about passing the same thing. Yes. <laughs> so we were cooking pot. Right. <laughs> the Dutch is a cooking pot. You know we gotta mix it up anyway. We gotta. We always gotta mix it up. Stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> well. And then, and then what happened? Your side of the water. Then it hits your side of the water. <laughs> um, it, it just the record sold five million copies worldwide, but this isn't downloading. This was physical copies. And then we got. We were, we were the first black artist to be on. MTV interviewed on MTV. Wow. So we actually went into MTV studios to do an interview. And uh, we were nominated for a Grammy Award on the back of it. Wow. Got to meet Michael Jackson, spend some time with him. Stevie Wonder is a good friend. And the rest is his history. Wow. Y'all just made a <laughs> super hit, man. Yeah. It, it was something that's been timeless, and I know that to this day, there's you know there's kids today singing the same song, and um, I cannot wait to see you guys um, yes. on the 15th. 
um, so exciting that people are going to be singing this song, and we're definitely going to be there to cover it, and we look forward to seeing you. It'll be great. We're going to have a great time. So we're definitely doing Pasta Dochi, and uh, we've got a new album called When Reggae Was King. Oh, okay. And on that album is a song called Hard Times, which is a song that we used to dance and bop to in the 80s. And uh, that refers to how, how many, what in Kali how, weed. So, how, how, many, uh, yeah, al- so. how many albums you saw worldwide with this hit? With how many songs? Yeah. How many albums? Yeah, how many albums? Records. Uh, five million records. Whoa. Five million. Five million records. We're kids. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Five million records. Five million records. That was direct sales. Well, 82, yeah. Yeah, and it's not digital that at all. The, <laughs> it, was the fifth, it was the fifth highest selling record the around the world at wow. the time. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dennis. We look forward to no seeing problem. you on the 15th at the Great American Smokeout with Snoop Dogg and Guest. You are yeah. a legend. Thank you so much, Dennis. No problem, Kevin. Nice to see hey, you. Hey, do you mind if I get on stage and perform this song with y'all? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> no. We'll record that. <laughs> Going viral, no, I think we happens. leave it to the professionals. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, well, you remember I used to sing this song. I used to sing. This I, I, I know, mean. I know, I know. I used to sing this song. That don't count. Well, thank you again, Dennis, and we'll see you on the no 15th problem, and see all our guests, all of our um, listeners. Please come out to the Great American Smoke Out on Saturday, September 15th at the Ontario Citizens Bank Arena. And you're going to see Dennis and yes. Musical Youth. Thank you so much again, Dennis. No problem. Okay, talk to you soon. Are, they, mu- are, they, are they the musical adults now? Or they're they musical they? adults now. Musical <laughs> adults. <laughs> always the youth. Yes, they're always the youth.